Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. <laughs> my name is Tapo. Over here we talk about skincare and grooming. So if that sounds like the type of stuff you like to see, please subscribe. Also come and follow me here on my socials where we talk more about skincare and get real, real personal. So before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched my first video. A lot of you had really nice things to say and it was so well received. A lot of you liked it and shared it. I want to say thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I haven't been uploading. When wasn't even the first time I uploaded my video? My, May. May, ne? May. It was May. Was it June? Oh, I don't know. But I want to say I'm sorry for not uploading. I will be uploading regularly now, once a week. I can't commit to too much. And if I do not upload, you have every right to drag me on Twitter, on Instagram, in the comments, and drag me for filters. Just, just drag me, okay? I have to be, I need, I mean, I need somebody to keep me accountable. So please, please. Okay, so let us get into today's video, which is going to be skincare tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys that will help elevate your skincare routine and help you see a difference in your skincare routine without necessarily having to go buy a new product. So think of them as small, useful techniques that can be implemented from today okay so let's get into tip number one which is cleansing your skin for more than 60 seconds so this rule was created by an LA based esthetician known as Naimika Robert Smith also known as a LA beautyologist on the socials she has an in-depth review about the 60 second rule on her channel I will link it down below in the description box so according to now most people only cleanse their skin for about 10 to 15 seconds which is the incorrect way of cleansing your skin and in my opinion just a waste of product because your cleanser is not really doing anything to your skin so essentially this rule is about cleansing your skin for more than than 60 seconds using your fingers and this is done for your first and second step and this method is fine for every skin type and every skin condition so if you have dry oily combination and sensitive skin this is okay for you so when you cleanse your skin for more than 60 seconds you actually allow for the ingredients in your cleanser to work on your skin this then helps dissolve and soften sebum blockages better your cleanser really gets into your pores and cleans out all the bacteria and dirt out of your pores this will help you see a difference in your skin's texture and overall evenness providing that you do do it every day and twice a day so you have to be consistent with it it's not a one-time solution also there's a bunch of testimonials on Twitter and blog posts written about the 60 second rule so do with that information what you will okay so for my first step I oil cleanse and I do that for about a minute to a minute and a half maybe two minutes and then for my second step I use a regular gel you know wash regular gel facial wash and I do that just for no more than 60 seconds for my oil cleanse I'm currently using the vanilla co clean it zero cleansing balm in the flavor original so I really love this cleansing balm you guys this cleansing balm really opened the doors for other cleansing balms and made me fall in love with cleansing balms it is also hypoallergenic which means it is less likely to cause a allergic reaction the texture of this cleansing balm is very nice and buttery and smooth and it doesn't like drip down your fingers when you're busy washing your hands it's just oh, Okay, I'm getting a little too excited over a cleansing balm. <laughs> and it comes with a spoon like slash spatula thing, so you don't have to be putting your fingers inside your jaw and contaminating it. So on some days, like some odd days, where I feel like I haven't been taking care of my skin that week, I will oil cleanse for about five minutes, and this will give me that nice, deep cleanse feeling but without being dry and stripping so my skin still got that moisture and hydration inside but it also doesn't irritate your eyes so if you're taking off makeup and you get it in your eye it's not gonna irritate your eye it's not gonna sting or burn which i really really love for my second cleanse i'm currently using the Clix skincare collection aloe vera plus omega 3 and 6 facial wash gel so this is a really good cleanser for me i really like it because it's affordable doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry after washing it like it doesn't have that <laughs> there is nothing like no oil nothing left on the skin like it's still nice and soothed and calm and hydrated but clean at the same time so it has aloe leaf juice as its eighth ingredient which helps soothe and calm the skin and it has other ingredients like castor oil and a noose seed oil which is essentially sunflower oil so that is the ingredients that help your skin not be like dry and just no just nothing just but dry you know I'm, I'm sure you guys know what it is when you cleanse your skin and then it's just dry that is awful this does not do that to my skin it says it's for sensitive skin this entire range is marketed to sensitive skin but it has perfume as its seventh ingredient so i don't know how that worked for people with sensitive skin but i know in wash off products it can be okay but i know some people even in wash off products they cannot have perfume or essential oils or any fragrance in their wash off products so 
if you're that person I don't know if this will be the cleanser for you but overall I'm happy with this cleanser I don't really like to change my cleansers like I like to keep them one and if it's affordable and it works I won't change it for a very long time and I feel like this is gonna be that cleanser okay now we're going on to tip number two which is to apply your toner and products on damp skin this is nothing new but a lot of people overlook this step I myself also used to overlook this step I only really started doing it in like August 2019 you know last year at the end of the year close to there and I started doing it because I was watching a lot of James Walsh's videos well I'm, I'm always watching James Walsh's videos but I was like binging them and he really used to emphasize that hey man apply that toner or that product on damp skin so when you apply toner and your products on damp skin you allow for the active ingredients in your products to be absorbed into your skin better when your skin is moist it is significantly more permeable than when it is dry this permeability then allows for better absorption of your hydrating toners lotions creams and serums this then enables them to work deeper and faster into the skin also when you apply your products on damp skin your skin feels more hydrated and has that nice like hydrated glow that i love Oof. And this also ensures that you're getting the most of your skincare products that I'm sure you pay so much money for, you know. When I started applying my toners and my products on damp skin, I started noticing a difference between two to three weeks later. You'll really see that supple, hydrated, glowy look that your skin gets. So to make this easier for myself, I take my toner to the bathroom. When I get out the shower, I then pat it and stop prepping my skin for the rest of my routine, which I'll then come do here in my bedroom. Okay, now it's time to talk about products. So for the daytime, and when I say daytime, I mean the days that I'm probably going to work, I will use the Dear Claire's Daily Skin Hydrating Water. So I really like this toner for its quantity. It is 500 mils. And because now it is winter, my skin gets extremely dry. And this winter has been harsh, man. I, it has been tough. And it has been really, really, really dry out there. So my skin has also been really really dry and I apply layers of this toner so this toner consists of 45% green tea water green tea is an antioxidant which helps fight free radicals and calm the skin it also has calendula and coconut palm extracts which help with better um, hydration I also needed a toner that is very calming because I do taste a lot of products and sometimes my skin can get irritated so I need something that's just gonna soothe it I also apply 10 layers of this toner in the morning because I work during the day and because of that my mask just takes all the freaking hydration from my skin so i need to keep, like layer it so it can at least last for the day also one thing i love about this tone is that it just gets completely absorbed by your skin and it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky not that i have a problem with that i know most people do have a problem with that but this does not have that problem doesn't leave it sticky and also because of the quantity i don't feel bad dragging this toner down to my nipples you're supposed to be dragging your skincare down to your nipples and this i don't feel bad doing that because it's such a large quantity it's really really hydrating guys my skin drinks this stuff up like just absorbs it all and for my nighttime toner i use the isn't tree hyaluronic acid toner plus this has five types of hyaluronic acids in it my skin is really calm and supple and plump the next day after using this toner it has no drying alcohols, no fragrance, and no essential oils. It is also packed with a lot of humectants like glucagon and glycerin. And it also has hydrating birch and aloe leaf juice. Also, what surprised me, it also has that brightening ingredient licorice root extract. So, ooh, I need to use a different toner for the nighttime and the um, morning time. I need something really th thick at night because I'm about to plow my face on a cotton pillow that's going to suck it all up. So I like to use something that is really, 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 really hydrating. Okay, now we're on the third and last tip, which is to always wear sunscreen. Disclaimer, everybody, yes, black and brown people have to wear sunscreen all throughout the year. I'm sorry if I sound condescending or judgy, but I'm just really, really passionate about skincare and it's particularly sunscreen everybody has to be wearing sunscreen you guys now let's get into the sciency part the sun is responsible for 90 percent of aging the sun breaks down important substances like collagen and elastin and the collagen and elastin is what's responsible for keeping your skin tight firm and supple and just <laughs> All the way up you know so the sun emits uva and uvb rays and sunscreen protects you from these uva and uvb rays uva rays are aging and damaging to the skin and penetrate deeper into the skin which cause things like fine lines wrinkles and age spots uvb rays are responsible for things like sunburns and visible changes in your skin's surface and this includes things like discoloration sunscreen also protects your products sunscreen also protects your products there is no point in spending so much money and time in your skincare routine if you're not going to protect those products because when you don't protect those products and you walk out the door your son just burns it 
which is such a waste because some people be spending like freaking 600 800 rand on a serum but they're like oh, i don't like sunscreen you have to wear sunscreen you guys you need to protect your skin and the products at least protect the products they're so expensive also if you have skincare concerns that you're battling like hyperpigmentation if you do not protect your skin and that hyperpigmentation the sun just makes it darker and if you have acne and it is exposed to the sun rays the sun rays then increases inflammation and redness which then leads to dark spots which then leads to hyperpigmentation and it's just this vicious cycle that can honestly be stopped and if you're on acne medication but i'm pretty sure you know this because your doctor told you this um the sun makes your skin more sensitive to the sun so you need to protect it so the acne medication is usually people who are using things like tretinoin um what's that other one that everybody uses that rakitan rakitan the one that makes your lips dry and also benzoyl peroxide i see that you can get five percent benzoyl peroxide from clicks and a lot of people have access to it you if you're using that you have to be putting on sunscreen so what do you need to do just make sure that you're wearing a sunscreen that is spf 30 and above and you're reapplying it every two to three hours you need to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours because sunscreen breaks down when you start sweating and some people just simply don't apply enough so you need to keep reapplying to make sure that you get that maximum protection also i just want to say please do not rely on the spf in your makeup and your um, facial moisturizers it's simply not enough but it's really great for layering so if you've got moisturizer with spf in it that's your first layer then you're going to put actual spf in it that's your protection then you've got makeup that's got spf in it and then you got more protection so it's great for layering but not just using it on its own so overall please wear spf every day yes even when you're inside the house and yes even when it's cloudy outside because the uva rays can penetrate through the windows and through the clouds so now i'm going to be telling you guys about my favorite sunscreens that are black girl friendly that are not going to leave a white cast because it's 2020 let us get into the first product so now i'm going to be talking about my favorite favorite sunscreen i use the sunscreen every day i think i've been through five bottles now yeah yeah which is the derma opal moisturizing sunscreen spf 30 plus so i really love the sunscreen guys i'm sure this is probably like bottle number five or four somewhere there i, I go through this and this one it's also almost finished it's like somewhere here it's almost finished i'm gonna need another one so this this so this sunscreen is great for oily and dry skin so it is really moisturizing and it applies so nicely you guys so it's really great for layering one thing i like is that it gets absorbed into the skin but also simultaneously leaving a hydrating glow it's just like eh, man it's amazing also it is 100 percent south african black owned so support support overall guys i really love the sunscreen i got put on the other sunscreen by glamology is it a go follow her she's amazing she talks about all things beauty once i got introduced to the sunscreen i was like okay there are sunscreens out there for us and here it is and it's black owned please go support it is also really affordable most sunscreens are expensive most sunscreens are above 100 this one is 92 rand my second favorite um sunscreen is the nivea sun uv face spf 50 shine control so i would say this is great for oily skin not so much dry skin but they do have one with a q10 formulation my sister uses that one she has dry skin she says that one would be better for people with dry skin so this one is really great for oily skin this is very hydrating it gets nicely absorbed into the skin but it's also matte so that's why i say this one is really great for oily skin because it leaves that nice okay well not really a matte face type of person but i know most people are and for summer this is the one and it's hydrating at the same time so i don't mind if products are matte if they're hydrating and they're not just taking out all that moisture it's also really lightweight and you don't feel it when you apply it and it also layers really well because you know you have to keep layering your sunscreen it layers really well okay so now i'm going to be suggesting some sunscreens for people who wear with makeup or people who don't feel like reapplying sunscreen with your fingers and you're out and about so my first favorite one is the vici uv protect spf 50 skin defense invisible mist so i would suggest this for oily and dry skin but mostly people with oily skin if you apply this stuff on your skin or on your makeup you don't feel it it's like a thin film on top like you just you don't feel this thing and if you do apply this on top of your makeup it doesn't make it greasy and oily which i truly 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 love and it has a nice matte finish which i do like for my makeup or i do like during the summertime when i don't feel like touching my face and i have to reapply my spf on my face i don't know what more to say about it it's just really nice and lightweight my second favorite spf is the body shop 
Skin Care Defense SPF 30 PA++ Face Mist. So I would recommend this just for dry skin, but if you're an oily skin person who likes that hydrated glow, then this could be for you too. I wouldn't recommend this on your makeup. Unless you like that hydrated, glowy, dewy makeup, it's a no from me because it does get really oily once you spray it on. This product is very, very hydrating, you guys. Like, it is very very hydrating it leaves a glow it leaves that sheen and like mm. i use this in the winter times because i don't mind looking shiny like i love looking shiny if i don't look shiny am i doing my skincare routine right so we're now at the end of the video i never know what to say at the end of the video so i'm just gonna ask some questions so we can start a discussion down below no judging guys we're not here to judge hey we're all here to learn so i actually want to know guys how long were you guys cleansing your skin for because when i actually timed myself before i started doing the 60 second rule i was actually only cleansing my skin for like 15 seconds on a good day like on a good day <laughs> wow and um please comment down below if there are any skincare topics or um products that you want me to try and um please put that down below in the comments because i love talking about skincare like sure guys i can talk about skincare all day okay all day i love talking about skincare so if there's something you want me to discuss please put that down below so that is the end of the video thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button 